Hi, this is Levi Damien from Silver and Black Pride and SB Nation here with your Raiders position battles. Now we move away from the quote unquote skill positions and talk about those guys whose number one job is to keep the quarterback upright and alive, the offensive tackles. At offensive tackle, we find one of the best and yet mostly unheralded players on this team, left tackle Jared Veldeer. He has quietly and steadily protected the blind side for the Raiders for the past three seasons. He only seems to get recognized by publications like Pro Football Focus, who analyze tape of players on a play-by-play -play basis, and unsurprisingly to those of us who have watched Veldeer the past couple seasons, he grades out very highly. He doesn't get the recognition because he was a third round pick out of Division II Hillsdale College. But regardless of recognition outside of the Raiders organization, the team is very well aware of the talent they have at left tackle and the quarterback is glad for it as well. On the other side, once again, is Khalif Barnes. For the past two seasons, he has returned on one-year deals. The team keeps trying to find a permanent replacement, but Barnes just keeps holding down the job. He is heavily criticized among the fans, but it isn't because of his skills, it's his penalties. He's known for having false starts at the worst times and is usually among the team leaders in penalties. Barnes has weathered heavy criticism as the team's right tackle, but each time he has missed games, the alternative has had the coaches and fans showing him a great deal more appreciation. Barnes was, will likely hold down the right tackle position once again this season while rookie Menelik Watson gets up to speed. Some draft analysts cri criticized the Raiders for choosing Watson in the second round because the British former basketball player has just two years of organized football, including one season of Division I at Division I Florida State. The thinking from the Raiders' perspective is that he has already shown a great deal of natural ability as well as possessing raw potential to get even better. They had the luxury of letting him develop under Barnes for a season before starting him, but if he can show he is ready now, it is possible he could win the job in camp. The current second team left tackle is Alex Barron. The former first round pick in 2005 has been out of football the past two seasons. Prior to the 2011 season, he was placed on injured reserve with a knee injury. He spent 2011 camp with the Seahawks but didn't make the team. He's hoping with the lack of depth at tackle for the Raiders, he can make a comeback. The final two players trying to earn a spot on their team are Willie Smith and John Wetzel. Smith spent last season as Khalif Barnes' backup and started seven games when Barnes went out with an injury. The results were disastrous and one can only hope the team won't be needing him back this season. Wetzel is an undrafted free agent rookie out of Boston College. He will be battling with Alex Barron for the rights to back up Bell Deer at left tackle. It's a much better situation this season at offensive tackle for the Raiders. It appears the team will be able to choose from the best options as opposed to the lesser of the evils. While Veldeer has a left tackle on lockdown, there will be a good competition to back him up. And for the starting right tackle job, it's Barnes at present versus the future in Watson. Well, that's it for our offensive tackle position battles. Again, this is Levi Damien for Silver and Black Pride and SB Nation. Be sure and check out our YouTube channel and be on the lookout for all the other Raider position battles. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in camp.